Hello everybody, it is Friday night. Today we're going to discuss rosemary. And uh, rosemarinic acid is the main um, molecule, ingredient in this, uh, um, in this simple, simple way of brewing herbal tea. Even though it's not technically tea, they still call it herbal tea, but uh, um, usually people are throwing in the, the leaves so the leaves of the plant are usually what is utilized the problem is is that so few of the leaves are used and also the stems have much needed nutrients known as phytochemicals or phytonutrients that you want so this is basically free. I mean, you grow this evergreen in your backyard. You can grow bushes of this stuff. It grows all year round. It does well in hot or cold climates. Perfect for an adaptogen or human consumption. Um, so the reason why I'm showing you this is to show you that don't just use the leaves. Use the stems. Cut cut the stems up you have a cold you have a cold virus like myself you have covid i don't have covid because i took a test that came up negative but if you had covid or you had a um a viral infection or also bacterial infection um that you're dealing with right now especially as uh the fall hits there's going to be more people getting sick um you want to utilize something that is very simple one ingredient men non-processed right from the garden a lot of that tea bag garbage is processed it's cooked it has to meet certain standards so you don't get um sick from you know pests or uh any type of thing that is on the plant we don't know where a lot of these things come from these farms uh, pesticide sprayed etc uh, this is very good I tested this on myself a lot this is not an oil or a concentration that you're looking at it is just a more potent form of what I want which is in the stems more so than the leaves if in fact if I could just use the damn bark of the tree and I would just skip skip the uh, leaves I was just used to the bark but I would destroy the plant um, so I am just using cuttings not not just the leaves so this is uh, uh, what we want to do if we want to we want to be able to wash I just cut this right now wash and then you want to take this after we wash it you want to pour it in I just boiled this water and what I'm doing is I'm laying it in here, putting the strainer on top of this boiled water and let it sit for 15 minutes. I'm getting over a, a as you could tell in my voice, I'm getting over a cold, you know, phlegmy. But what I want to do is I want to, see here's, 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 here's look at, that came off of it. So we don't want to hurt him. Come on. Get him out of here. So here he's right here. A little caterpillar came off of the plant. I'm going to throw him outside. I'm not going to kill him. But we got the plant right here. Luckily the caterpillar didn't go in there. Caterpillar got lucky. So I didn't even see the caterpillar. But he's very healthy. He's doing his thing, not hurt at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss him out after this video. Outside, of course, into the to nature. I'm not gonna hurt anything. I don't have to. So here's the thing. I'm gonna leave this for 15 minutes. I'm gonna drink this as it is. It's gonna be strong. It's gonna be strong, everybody. It's not gonna be weak, it's gonna be bitter. So if you want to put honey in it, monk fruit, anything sweetener, don't put sugar, regular processed sugar. Stay away from 
sugar in general unless it's like honey or monk fruit a sweetener plant sweetener but uh do not put um regular white you could use a little bit of the brown sugar but don't put the white processed bleach sugar in there um it will defeat the whole purpose it will want something to make you healthy and we want something to really pack a punch this is what a punch feels like to your to your body you want to punch it you just don't want to sip on these weak ass tea bags you want to make something strong it may not be that pleasant but you want to really get down on that keep that uh virus or that bacterial infection that's making you sick at bay astragalus is a an herb <clears throat> from asia that is also very good um, usually you can order, order it on iHerbs, Stragulus everybody, on iHerbs, that's uh, for the immune system. That's a good herb. I don't have any Stragulus on me right now. But if I did, I'd be using a bunch of different um, herbs to combat my, uh, uh, my infection. I'm thinking it's a, more of a viral infection that my daughter brought home from school. But if you are in the process of having pneumonia, go get antibiotics. I don't like antibiotics, but you, sometimes they save your life. They're necessary. I would never suggest someone ignore medical care. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to utilize things that can make you better faster, that can make your body attack and better defend itself against infections, both viral and bacterial. You all have a great day. I'm gonna enjoy this in about 10 minutes. Bye-bye.